hello and welcome. Atmospheric electricity was a subject I was touched on very early on by reading a book from Hans Domnick, a German writer, in, um, who lived 1872 till 1945. So this book was released 1934 and I read it in my teenage age. It's describing um, the power harnessing possibility of energy from the sky and he uses technologies which has at that time all been pat already been patented, which you will see later on. This is a book, um, it's a fiction book, but because of his background as electrical and mechanical engineer, it is actually very, very close to the reality, which was later confirmed and through my studies as well. Um, he was working as an electrical and mechanical engineer, as said, in World War I by um, building the submarines for uh, the German force, but he was also involved in working on telegraphs or um, remote controlled systems for torpedoes. So what do we understand about atmospheric electricity? So probably all of you will know about the lightning and you might assume that is the subject about lightning. It's not. So the lightning is produced in a different fraction. Here we talk about friction between molecules, the water molecules and air molecules, which is causing actually ionization. So whenever you see, whenever it's raining, you have very heavy clouds and because of the differences between the clouds, if rain fall down, you get an electrical potential. So Faraday was actually trying in his days to harness this, this energy with lightning rocks to um, store it in uh, Landon, uh, Leyden jars. Um, and so there's has another experiment as well where you have two conductive tubes where you um, put water drops on both sides and you create then sparks between these both conductors. So when we talk about atmospheric electricity, we're talking about uh, the ionization, which is caused by the sun and by the galactic or the universal radiation. Here the sun is stripping off um, the electrons of the air molecules and is creating then the electrical potential between the higher atmosphere and the ground. So the higher um, you go into the atmosphere, the stronger the electrical potential will be, and that is also confirmed, and we'll demonstrate that later on, um, that you need actually altitude to create a high potential, but there are many more factors actually relevant um, for that, which will be discussed in later points, but that is the subject of, electric, uh, of at, um, atmospheric electricity that we like to harness, or let's say we all should like to harness this kind of energy. Here in this first pattern we see a couple of different um, pictures about how to deploy an electricity harnessing system. We are seeing balloons, we are seeing um, structures mounted, be uh, uh, mounted between mountains, we see um, um, elevated structures from a balloon and uh, also some kind of crit system which should be um, the um, receiver or the uh, material which can actually then um, receive the ions and um, transfer the potential down to the ground. So in this US patent we see a kind of a ring structure which is an, um, has an, a collection system and a, a, con a conversion system actually mounted underneath with a wire 1415 going down to ground. Here it's not depicted exactly how it's elevated to, um, to that level it seems that the whole structure here is purely for receiving the energy or electrical potential and to transfer it to ground while it is already converted in the air. 
This patent is for me the most logical way to deploy such a system to harnessing atmospheric electricity. You have in the center or uh, on top, you have a large balloon which has underneath the structure for harnessing the energy. And then you have three um, balloons lowered uh, um, underneath, which either give it more stability or carrying the weight of the wires, while the middle wire is going down to the conversion system on the ground where it is then actually converted into usable energy for our household appliance. The most uh, known company working on that subject is a company located in America called Iron Power Group. I have listed here all the patents they have already raised, mostly global raised patents for the usage of graphene of harnesses this, this energy. And what you see here is a testing station in Florida which uh, Laser Hacker did actually visit and got a nice presentation about the way they actually transform, convert the energy and store it. They have a large number of people supporting them, inclusive NASA and high-level university professors which are sitting on a board. On the second picture you see the testing site here with all these four um, poles going up in the ground. It's not that high, it's about 39.624 meter, but at that level they can have all, they so already re have about t two to four kilovolt of voltage generated and stores it in the system. At last, working on the subject, I want to list Standeo. Most of you might know him from his website where he, where he discussed various subjects, but also on my, on my YouTube channel where I posted his presentations about anti-gravity. So Stan Deo is actually, um, a, want to apply for the same um, technology patent with a different kind of uh, um, variation or on it, kind of EMP power um, protection, stuff like that. However, Based on prior art, his patent was not granted in America and he has currently a fundraiser project running uh, which uh, is, um, a level, is on a level of $30,000 of whom he already received $19,000 um, of his target. Let's not talk about uh, the project I was, will work on, I will do in the first phase um, testing harnessing structures and materials. In the second phase I will um, develop um, a system which converts this energy we harnessing. And in the phase three I will then actually deploy a system to get the potential down to the ground where then we'll all uh, put all three um, optimum systems into place and that will go even further into details. We're going to charge some capacitors. We are, I'm measuring then the, the power we can receive over time and see what kind of equivalent value we need to have actually to provide a system or to develop a system which will be useful. I believe that Iron Power Group has done all this work already, so, so that might be available. but. Um, I haven't seen much of other works um, done here on the subject, so I will um, pick up on all these patterns and the different structures and will give an overview to my members on my website. Thank you.